pointed at somebody. Uh, Dr. Steve Shapiro from Roper St. Francis uh, Hospital. Doc, uh, I mean, we had a tragedy, a near tragedy today, right? I mean, we heard it over the radio, unconscious, cardiac arrest, possibly, saw the transfer. Can you just kind of tell us? Sure. No identification, obviously. No. Just tell us what happened. Uh, we got a, a, a report of somebody who was unconscious on uh, uh, Course 6, the pursuit course. Um, immediately, we put in our, the plans that we've had, our EMT boat, was uh, identified the boat, um, came up to it, tied up to it. Um, the EMT and the paramedic jumped out of the boat, assessed the situation. The, the, unfortunately, the gentleman uh, was uh, uh, pulseless and breathing, and not breathing, and so we had to shock him uh, on the boat, and uh, we, un and fortunately, he was revived. It, I mean, we, so, so we, were, we were watching, we were right there and heard it and, and watched the stood by if we could give any assistance, but, but we timed the whole thing because I was actually shooting video of something else, so I was looking at the time, and it, it, it seemed like it was maybe three minutes from the call till there was someone aboard. It, and I think that's right. I, I, I will give credit, uh, really a lot of credit to the crew because they started the CPR and made the call. Once we you know, got the, um, the word, then, then immediately our first EMT boat got on there, and then our second EM, ENT boat that was in the harbor, which uh, w w that I was on, came in to um, uh, really help with the, with the rescue. And with the, with the CPR and the AED, uh, uh, you guys were able to, to bring the pulse back to the patient? Absolutely. When, when, when we transferred him from the um, sailboat to the EMT boat, he was uh, uh, talking, uh, um, conscious, um, wow. uh, and, and we then transported him to the hospital. And he's uh, recovering in the hospital as we speak. Wow. What a story! So, so if anyone won this regatta today, I think maybe it's you. No, I know it's my team. I, I you know, I, I think we're the luckiest regatta. You know, I think you know, again, one of the superlatives of race week is is that we put together this this uh, plan, the safety plan. And I think it's uh, um, really an outstanding plan. Well, and then this is this is Roper St. Francis long partnership with uh, with Charleston Race Week. Um, what um, what would have happened? This is an offshore course. Or yes. This is an offshore fleet. What would have been different if this was offshore? Is there anything we can learn from this? Incident? Well, I, I think, again, the EMT boat would have boarded that sailboat and would have done exactly what they did on that boat. That We have all the equipment on the EMT boat, and I think that the difficulty in, in really big seas would have yeah. been to transfer him into that boat. Yeah. But by that time, he was stabilized. He was on oxygen. We, they could have motored into a, a, a less, you know, uh, a, a better pro place to transfer but, to a but, more speeder but boat. But not easily. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't be close. So in, in a way, the decision to bring the boats in with those big seas offshore really helped out here. Absolutely. It was the right decision today. And, yeah. you know, and I think the competitors really had a great time sailing up the Wando. So that it was great. It looked great from a media standpoint. Oh, well, know? good, you know, a good northeast wind, you know. And, and you know, the, the, the harbor was closed for most of the traffic. So we could take over the whole Wando and not worry about uh, incoming traffic or outgoing traffic at the, at the Ports Authority. So that really is, a, again, makes this place spectacular that, that you know, that we, we have that kind of swag that we can, uh, you know, close the port down. Are you surprised, and we had one injury yesterday to a knee on a race yes. committee boat when it surfed down a big wave, yeah. but are you surprised with this huge breeze that we've had for three days that we don't have more injuries? You know, again, we, you know, we have some of the best sailors in the, in the, in the country and, and around the world, so I'm not terribly surprised that we don't have more. Uh, you know, I think that we're, you know, I think people go out and they, they assess the conditions and don't go out unless they are comfortable in going out. Yeah, yeah. right on. All right, Doc. That's amazing stuff, and uh, boy, I just, I, I want to shake your hand. Thank you, Alan. I think that's amazing, and congratulations, and thank you. Thank you for your work. You're welcome. Thank you. All right.